Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's been a while, probably about four weeks, a month. Um, the reason for that is I recently lost my job, so I've been trying to get a new job and some other stuff, but we should be back, hopefully. Videos might be a bit more spread out until I'm, I'm back to normal, but we're just going to get on with the Q&A today. Okay. So the first question is by James, feature plants. Um, I know James is dyslexic, so I guess this says future. If you mean for this channel, I don't know. I don't know about future plants. Okay, so not Jason. Let's see what his. So that is a cr that's a crazy what a name. Um. Or do you have many commissions? Um, I don't have many commissions, but when I did, and sometimes when I get commissions, um, something great to keep in mind is just posting on your Twitter account, making yourself active. Um, constantly post your commissions if you do get any, and if you don't, always be practicing, posting your work so people can see it and maybe they'll like your work and want it for their game. How can someone always improve in life in life um in general you can always improve by i tell you if i knew but honestly i don't really know um um just improve yeah what's your favorite color um i'm not sure my favorite color is probably red purple one of them too when do you first started when did you first started ui designing i think i started in 2019 or 2018 and it's 2024 now so quite a while um how old are you i'm now officially an adult as of the 7th of May. I use Photo P for my designs. How exactly Photoshop helps you make better UIs? Um, it doesn't. You can do the same as you can in Photo P. You just have to be good at it. How do you rate your UI skills and designs? My UI skills, I'd say, I'd say I'm pretty good. Not, not to gas myself up, I'd say above above average at the moment what's your favorite game on roblox i don't really play roblox um have you ever worked on a very big project and if yes what it, what it was and what did you make here um a lot of my biggest projects you can find on my website what is a good price for me, a decent UI designer and a really good UI designer to sell their UIs for a full game? Um, everyone wants me to price their work, but it's your work, so I really can't do that. I'd say put your price at what you think it's worth, and if you're not getting commissions, then put it down. Do you prefer the letters in a banner to be capital or not, or it depends? Whatever looks good, really. how long have you made your eyes for a couple of years and then we've got biscuit what exactly inspired you into creating slice melon okay so i didn't create slice melon soaring key created it i think we've got a scammer in our server right now because um a lot of messages getting sent i'll take care of that after anyway what inspired you to create slice melon soaring key or Kieran, who used to be on the channel, we both were just thinking, let's make a, a... I think it was originally a Discord server, just like... Like Logoverse, all these type of servers, just to promote your work and talk with other designers. And then we decided to make it a YouTube channel. What future plans do you have in mind for it? I'm not sure. We'll see what the future holds. What would you recommend for burnouts during the process of designing UI? Um, this is weird because I used to have a lot of burnouts. I used to be able to not 
I just couldn't open Photoshop in design. I just couldn't think of ideas, but you just, just play around. If you're constantly creating stuff, then it's all going to look pretty the same. You're going to run out of ideas, but you can look on, you can look for inspiration. Do a little bit of copying. Not too much though. What inspired you into creating UI? I just wanted to make some money. I think that the whole UI market specifically on Roblox has gotten repetitive and boring. Yeah, I really do. Um, unfortunately, everyone does this one style and they all think it's very unique. It's just not. When every single person on Roblox I see has that same style with those white boxes and those blue banners and the Ross GFX icons, even though they are amazing icons, you can't all have the exact same UI style. What are your thoughts on icon packs? Specifically the oversaturated, overused icon packs, Ross. Right, so I guess I've just said this. Icon packs, Ross's, is obviously amazing. It is very overused now. But he keeps updating it. I think it looks great. I think people should try. If they don't have to use it, then get a designer to make the icons. Because you don't want your game to look like everyone else. What are your thoughts on the lack of UI designing tools that Roblox Studio offers to designers? Honestly, Roblox Studio is awful. It's um it's getting a bit better because we have we have some new plugins coming out which are great for UI. I'll be making a video on one of those new plugins soon. But honestly, Roblox hasn't made many big changes. I think the last big change I've seen in like UI designing tools is the introduction of custom fonts. But we still can't upload our own. So I think they just need to speed up. Listen to the designers. How should a noob start making you wise? Well, you can watch our tutorials. That's always a great place to start. How do you start getting commissions? Post yourself online. What's a reasonable price for a beginner UI designer? I can't really give you a reasonable price. Depends how much skill you've got, how long it takes you. There's a lot of different factors that go into this. How many UI did you make? Um. In total, uh, the probably UI, let's say frames, maybe, maybe like a couple, couple hundred thousand. What you use to make the icon, which icon? I'm not sure what icon they're talking about. Photoshop or Illustrator. I use Photoshop to make icons, but Illustrator is much better. You should use that if you can. How will you import the UI from Photoshop easy to Roblox? Um, are you asking me how to import UI? That's a, the wording's a bit confusing. Um, there is a great tutorial on importing UI by LXC Dev. I'll link that in the description. How do you improve your UI? Um, I would just always ask for feedback. Our server is great. It's died a bit because I've been inactive, but I'll fix it soon. Um, just post your work, ask for feedback from people better than you. So if I wanted to go ask one of my friends who do UI design what I should change, I'd take their feedback and obviously change it because it's probably going to look better if a better designer has given you something to change on it. What are your tips to get more business? Um, just promote yourself. Just stay active. How can you, how can you learn to create better UI? Create better UI. You just have to keep practicing really. How to sell your UI. You can sell your UI on Roblox. You can sell it with PayPal sure that's not what you mean but it's okay tips on figma i don't know how to use it best free service to use for robots ui creation photopy probably 
how do I get more clients? Um, I feel like I've said promote your work, put it on Twitter 40 times in the last minute, but that's actually all you can do really. Something I did when I was struggling for work was I actually approached some clients myself. Like I messaged some developers on X or Twitter and asked if they needed any UI. Some of them actually responded, so it was great. I also got some quite famous popular connections from just messaging developers, which is great because they always recommend me to people. Never promote my work. I think I'll explain that. Can you make more review and tutorial videos? Yes, of course we can. How much Robux did you earn from developing and what are your future plans? Happy birthday. Thanks. Even though it's a month later, that's kind of my fault. Um, how much Robux? Maybe a couple million. Stopped taking Robux a long time ago. What's your hottest take? Hmm. My hottest take on Robux UI design is. Okay. This is all that comes to my head. Um, personally, I think these. I don't know if anyone else has seen these Robux UI designer competitions. I think they're a little embarrassing. I don't think you should be getting yourself involved in something like that. I feel like it kind of cheapens like your whole brand if you're getting involved in. I'm not saying with these people, but the people who run them and the people who participate in them. They're the type of people who have this same style of UI that's white boxes and blue squares and it's just not going to work. Do you make a living out of UI design? Oh, unfortunately, I don't. Um, I would love to though. That will be a very easy life. I think it's possible to make a living out of... Yeah, definitely. It is definitely possible. There are some designers which do do it. What's your favorite UI design trend? And which one do you dislike? My favorite trend. Um, I'll go into this channel to look for a little trend I like, but I'm scared that there's some scammers in there. Um, my least favorite trend is that whole, that whole copy and paste style that everyone copies from each other. It's just, just not nice. What do you think of the UI designer community? It's it's not good anymore. It used to be great. It's died. It really has. It really has died lately. Um, a lot of the better UI designers have either quit or stopped posting. And then we've got all these people who like have the same style or are just starting out. And it's not that the people who are just starting out should not be allowed but it's only new people in this community now so yeah who do you consider the best ui designer right now i don't know who i would consider the best some of my favorites are nabil plays um cool logos cool logos is surprisingly really good at ui design i shouldn't say surprisingly because He's good at everything, but he really can design UI great. Soaring Key, also great. What's your favorite UI style to do? I love simulator games. Um, I don't play them myself, but I love doing that style. It's so simple and easy to do. What's a UI style you've never tried, but you love to do? I wouldn't love to do any UI design style that I haven't really tried because there's a reason I can't do it um maybe like some something tech based sci-fi realistic or something like rpg detailed but i just i don't have the patience for it okay and then it's just everyone talking about figma okay so that's all we've got for today um i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching and if you want another one of these ones where i just answer questions then you can comment some questions in this video and you might be featured thanks for watching and see you next time